Hey, this is James again with Metal Cabin and Liquidators. Uh, thank you for joining us and uh, allowing us to uh, show you a little bit on used office furniture. Uh, today we wa are going to talk about uh, file cabinets. I know it sounds strange, but file cabinets for most people is just a boring topic. doesn't really mean much to some. But for those that are trying to get organized, whether at home, at the workplace, uh, or just anywhere really at church, if you're trying to get organized, then this is the best way to start. And I'm going to show you guys some basic, just basic knowledge, basic information on the uses, the styles, and the type of file cabinets that we have here and that exist, really. Right, the first cabinet we're going to talk about, or filing cabinet we're going to talk about, would be the uh, pedestal file cabinet. Right? Little one, little file cabinet that usually fits under any desk. They call this the box box file because it has two storage uh, storage spaces and the filing space there. Okay, this is where you hang your folders here. We also have the letter size vertical file cabinet. Okay. This would be the three drawer lateral. Uh, the laterals, they usually come in two drawer, three drawer, four drawer and five drawers, the max they have. Last but not least, we have another vertical file cabinet here, and this is the legal size vertical. The difference between legal and letter size there is that the legal one is three inches wider, fit for um, legal size documents. So let's just start first with, uh, <clears throat> with this cabinet here. Usually these come in size of 27 inches high. Uh, the highest I've seen in a little pedestal file cabinet is 28 inches, but um, I've seen some that are actually shorter that only have one box and one file, and those are usually around 24, 25 inches. These are good for under desks, they're good for garages where you can just kind of hide it through, maybe even a, maybe even putting it next to a um, to like a dining room area where you know you can just file your your files there. If you have a small space, a small house, small apartment this is probably perfect here this one here is also perfect for small spaces you can throw it in the garage in the corner you can throw it next to your desk in your bedroom you can throw it in the corner of your bedroom and it's perfect now this one here is fit for letter size and as you can see this one has the high walls already so that you can uh, hang your pen the flex folders there okay now the three drawer lateral this one here is probably the most popular file cabinet um, in existence. And what I mean by most popular, it's the lateral file cabinet itself. Whether it's a two drawer, three drawer, or a four drawer lateral file cabinet. The reason why they're so popular is because not only does it fit well in a garage, in a house, but a lot of businesses use this. Nowadays, a lot of businesses are moving away from verticals kind of sticking with the laterals. Why are they choosing the lateral over the vertical? Well, they actually look nicer. They don't really look like file cabinets anymore. This, if you look at it, looks like a file cabinet. This looks more like office decor. So you can put a nice plant on top of it and it looks like a credenza, if you think about it. It doesn't look like a file cabinet. So. Uh, if you're going to have a, a business, an office, and you're going to have it in front of your employees, in front of your customers, uh, always recommend a lateral over the vertical. Uh, now, one thing about the vertical, though, that I do have to mention, pound for pound, because it's deeper, pound for pound, this can actually fit more space, more filing space than a lateral file cabinet. Now, if you're going to put a file cabinet in a storage facility, in a back room where nobody's gonna see it and you just need filing, tons of filing space, go with the vertical. If you're gonna put it in an office or even in your, in your home office and you want it to look nice, go with the lateral file cabinet, okay? This is the lateral. Here, I would go with something like that for my office. I would not go with a vertical in my office. Um, now, just to give you the differences uh, with the letter size, 
cabinet here. As you can see, standard letter size Pentaflex folders. If I try to put it in the legal size cabinet, it's not gonna fit. So if you have legal documents, make sure you buy the legal folders and make sure you buy a legal um, vertical file cabinet because the letter size is for letter documents. Okay, so. And lastly, um, regarding the ladder of file cabinets, although we mentioned that this one has more space, filing space, pound for pound, uh, there's a way that you can maximize your space with the ladder of file cabinets. This is a three drawer ladder of file cabinet. Come on with me, follow me. You can go up in space. So now you have a four drawer lateral file cabinet here, okay? Now you wanna completely maximize your office space Come on this one. <laughs> we have a five drawer lateral file cabinet as well. So now you have one, two, three, four. The top drawer works a little different where you store your items, but here's the good news it gives you the option to hang your folders as well which is pretty awesome on the five drawer lateral hey thank you for watching if you have any comments or questions uh, feel free to write them in the comment section um, that also helps us out with future videos in case uh, you have questions then we can maybe even create a video regarding that question or that comment uh, at the same time uh, all the ideas are very useful for us um, we are located in Rancho Cucamonga, California. If you're out of state, unfortunately, we do not ship out of state. However, if you're in Southern California, you're more than welcome to come by and uh, visit us. There's also a link in the description that'll guide you to our website. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, share uh, this video um, to anybody that's looking to expand their business or get organized at home. Thank you again and have a nice one. We appreciate you.